if if a young boy or girl in America or anywhere else in the world were wanting to follow in your footsteps, what are some things they should be doing in high school, um, early college to do that? Um, um, they should definitely be taking a wide uh, range of subjects. Um, it would be helpful if they did sort of some science subjects as well as some uh, humanity subjects. So, um, for example, I myself did the biology and I would have done chemistry as well together with things like history. Um, it's, so it's quite good to have a good mix because the thing about archaeology is, is there are some very sort of um, philosophical and almost um, artsy areas of it, but there are also some very scientific areas of it, and it's good to have a, a broad range in there. It's also important, especially if you want to do something like Egyptology, to study languages, um, and that's purely because um, a lot of the sources that you'll have to read will be in French or German and occasionally Italian. Now, I don't read Italian, but to have um, at least a decent understanding of French or German is very helpful, even with all the translation software you can get. Um, it doesn't do very well with um, sort of technical archaeological um, papers, so it's very helpful to have, have the French and German language skills as well. And, of course, when you study languages, um, it's also easier to learn an ancient language like ancient Egyptian, which, again, you would have to start learning it at college or as your um, college career develops. So I would I would say those are kind of you kind of need to, to have an awareness of everything really. So languages and humanities and sciences all together. <laughs>